Hello everyone, welcome to TechSkill. So as I promised, I'll be making a video on the Pixel Experience April 2021 build. That is a Pixel Experience Plus edition. So first of all, before you install, make sure whatever ROM or uh, custom ROM you have installed, first of all, you have to disable the password lock. You go to the security and you disable it. I have already disabled it. I have set it to none, right? So after doing that, you have to put the downloaded ROM in your device. I will leave the the link in the description below in the video you can just click and, the, and it will start getting downloaded right so this video is on the plus edition please remember and before you start installing any os this is an advice from my side that you should always back up your data irrespective of what rom or software you're installing if it is related to the operating system you simply back up your data right so what i'll do is i'll simply plug my phone and i'll be uh putting the that roam in my device first so i'll be choosing file transfer options and i will simply go to my download section and i'll copy this and i'll put it straight into the device internal storage right so i have i'll be copying it so it will just take i think half a minute so i'll be fast forwarding the video from here So the ROM has been copied as you can see what I'll do is I'll unplug my phone and remember to keep your phone charged by at least more than 30% right that's the battery percentage that you should have in your phone uh, otherwise it may or may not cause some failure right so what you have to do is now you have to go to the TWR section by pressing the volume up button and the power button both at the same time so you'll hear a slight small vibration when it happens you will land into the TWRP section and remember removing the security lock is very important otherwise you can just encrypt your phone right so as you can see we are in that team win twrp project what i'll do is i prefer clean wiping my phone i don't have much data in this so i'll just uh what i'll do is i'll go to advanced i'll select dalvik cache system yeah and i'll i'll enter data as well right so internal storage i won't be wiping because the os is there so i'll be just formatting it here the data partition will remain so i'll go to the install section again and as you can see on the bottom of the screen i have my pixel experience plus available so that's how like you just have to flash it like this now when you do that you will get some information here as you can see it's saying android version 11 and the build date is of i think 19 for 2021 that is 19 april 2021 right so the security patch is of 5th of april yeah they are a little bit late this time but this is how they this is but i'll be fast forwarding the video from now till the room gets installed if if the room gets installed you won't be getting any red lines or red text here if if anything fails you will be getting some red text over here right so stay tuned i'll be fast forwarding the video from here so as you can so as you can clearly see the room is installed i'll simply reboot it to system so first reboot might take some time so you have to uh, wait for a while for example maybe it, it will take five minutes so i'll just fast forward the video from here bam this is how the rom looks like i have installed it i had i have even set up the device so 
as always pixel experience don't come with any bloatware so that's a very good thing and that's why i always prefer pixel experience and custom rooms that come with no bloatware right so i'll go to the system settings and if i go to the about phone section and then i'll go to the android section maybe yeah you can see the android security patches of 5th of april and the android version is android 11 and the kernel if your people are interested in knowing the kernel it's you can see etude op11 i don't know what it is i have never heard about it so you can maybe just google this right so other than that this is how the everything looks like i don't think so there are any major uh, ui or system overhaul they have according to the website they say that they have improved the system stability right and other than system stability if i go to the styles and sections this is how it most of the time looks like yeah i'll just set this up right so that's all for this video like th this was it i don't think so there is any major ui overhaul and for some strange reasons as you can see the camera go is crashing so i'll just force stop it for a while let's check if it works right so i'll, I'll force and if i go click here yeah this is working now so if your camera go doesn't work on the first restart just uh, force close this and it will start working one feature that i love in pixel experience uh, let me show you that okay i have to sign it here and where should i go maybe google yeah like i'll just go to here and this when you go here you can simply take choose any text from here and simply copy it share it search it this is an amazing feature and you can even take a screenshot just from this and you can share edit whatever you want to do so this was the initial impression this looks fine as you can see the animation looks super cool they are fluid and it feel it is feeling snappy actually i think yeah it, it, it looks fine to me really and the very good handy feature the screen recorder that comes in built in this room so maybe i'll also do a full review of this room i have shown you the install procedure and one advice i want to give you if you are migrating from from another custom room so i will recommend a clean flash don't you know just wipe everything out and then put the room inside your device and then uh, install it maybe if you don't do that you might end in boot loops or something like that right so just just clean flash your device and it will start working right so this was for the pixel experience plus edition for the poco f1 with 5th of july 5th of april security patch and i'll see you in the next video